Hello and welcome to Reasonable Doubt. I am now the happily former president of the Harris County Criminal Lawyers Association. <laughs> we were waiting on that. <laughs> happy, so to, happy to have been replaced by <laughs> Joe Venus, uh, who talked me into this gig in the first place. And now I am officially retired uh, as president of the Harris County Criminal Lawyers Association. But I am still one of two hosts of Reasonable Doubt brought to you by the Harris County Criminal Lawyers Association. And I have been told to stretch out this intro as our man extraordinaire, Mark Pirtle, yes, is, is, is getting things ready. So first of all, I'd like to <laughs> welcome my co-host, Justin Harris. Uh, who's with me as always. He's we in did, a different seat now. This has all been planned. Like yeah. This wasn't thrown together real quickly or anything. Uh, uh, we, 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 have an, we have an announced guest that we said this morning who is Damon Parrish <laughs> with two R's. Hopefully and the, and that was second. spelled right. Is it fixed? Uh, yeah, there you are. Not, now we don't. Awesome. Now we. So. Now we don't list your name at all. You I, just you, you you're a trademark in and of yourself. No you know. No uh, so we announced you and actually his hair is his trademark. Uh, well, you know, he's gotten so big that now when he's the guest on the show, he just brings his own guests. Like, so, yeah. So, like we're, joke, so we're very, yes. I've been losing weight. Really? <laughs> Bulk it up, bro. Uh, I, I thought your suits were getting it's tighter. I didn't attribute it to muscle. <laughs> but, uh, Quit looking at my junk, right? Yeah, all right. Uh, anyway, we're very excited to have a special, truly special <laughs> guest star with my beloved friend, Jackie Carpenter, wife number four. Four or five, five. We have it. Five? five. Okay. Five. Um, and the other one's a public official, so we can't name her, but she knows who she is, and she knows that we love her both. And we're waiting on her. We are. I'll sing whenever she's ready. All right. So it's been it's been three or four weeks since our last yeah. episode. Uh, Did you know this is a new season? It's a new season. Did so. you know we had seasons? Yeah. When we talk about the show's been on for fifty years, twenty five years, but we need to start saying fifty seasons. Yeah. That's, there's that, two seasons in a year. We just found that out like, what, two months ago? I, I don't know. I just thought it was sweater season. Oh, no, not anymore. Okay. It's white people. So what happened to four seasons? What happened to four seasons? Four seasons? So, no, no, no. Of the show. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like TV episode seasons. Sorry. Wait. Sorry for the viewers. If, if the guests are lost, too. Um, we I, just, I, I we're don't know where we found this special guest. <laughs> yeah. This is my fault for that confusion, but... We, uh, yeah, this is apparently a new season of Reasonable Doubt. <laughs> okay, I just showed up, y'all. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I didn't really give much context. It is also about to be summer, so we're technically in spring. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so did we end, did we end last season on a uh, cliffhanger? I mean... Uh, the banquet. We did. We had Tyrone as our final guest of last season, so that was a biggie. Was we did have a big we season a finale. Ending, yeah. And so now we have the season premiere with a, a special guest and a special Dan guest guest. Yes. Hey. Yeah. So, but a lot's been going on. You sound so like you're really hating the fact that I'm here. No, 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 never, no, no. It's just never, David. We're never, not as, never. We just wish you would come. So while we were here, we we had the awards banquet. It was great. Uh, Christina Pelt did a great job. We had a trimmed down uh, was, banquet. Those of you who weren't but, there, you missed how short it was. Yeah, it was it was amazing. No jokes there. But uh, you we, also we had <laughs> you also missed how Murray had to have a whole entire conversation. <laughs> Yeah, Across the dice. <laughs> we shall never speak of that again. So. I'll never forget this move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We. Some There's people. So thought, many things people missed at the banquet. Some people thought it was open mic night, and and, and uh, they had to be told rather forcefully it was not. Yeah. Uh, but I do. In the moment of seriousness, we had one honoree who was not present. Damon Parrish. She yeah. had a family obligation and he was not there to accept an award for member of the year. I did. I did. And, uh, so my daughter's band performance was that day and it was just more important to me to watch her play the drums. I, yeah, with you guys. I get it. So, Does she but, have a drum set at home? Yeah, she's a oh. uh, starter kit, which is a uh, like a xylophone and a uh, snare. And she's pretty good at it, so it's okay. Oh, so she needs like a couple toms and a, like a bass drum and some She has cymbals. a rhythm, and so that's most important when you play the drums. Uh -huh. um, she's black. So it's okay. I don't mind it. Uh, I'll, I'll bring her some no. bigger drums. I don't know what that means. And you need some bigger drums like in your you house, I think. Size I matters. Know, I didn't know that you're, you're, you're a kid it. that plays drums. I have a drum set just collecting dust. Well, keep that in your that house. It needs to be then. at the parish house. <laughs> don't you have a son? No, not yet. No, I, you can give it back and like, 
10, 15 mm. years. Your baby, how old is your child? She's five. Okay, she'll play drums. There we go. My not yet, not yet. We'll All right, back, give on, back. back on topic. Because <laughs> I do want to say that one of the reasons that you got the award is because people know you, the big personality, the big person, uh, but people don't realize how much you do for this organization. I appreciate that. And, and you and Allison Mathis and, and Vic Vish and Justin, you won it the year before or the year before that. Is, but, uh, Damn but you know, the, there are certain people in this organization that, you know, when you ask for help, you, you know, you can hear crickets chirping. Then there are others that always are there and Damon, Allison and Vic absolutely represent the best of our organization, and so they were all very deserving award winners. So sorry you. you weren't there to be applauded by everyone, but I applaud right, you and thank clapped. you. We uh, thank you guys, I appreciate that. I was, I was prepared place. to do a speech in your honor. I was hoping you would. I actually asked you to speak on my behalf. And I was like this. But you didn't like, tell Murray. <laughs> it's not no. A, it's a, no. It's terrible. Uh, no, Damon is, that, that's right. Thank you. Everything that there's something that needs to be done, a meeting that needs to be had. Murray can't make it. Damon's always there. And it's not just been this year. Or even if I can years. make it, he's there too, yeah, that's you true. know. He's and there. and uh, like a mosquito. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but no, I mean, every project there you that's I don't good. think I've ever asked you to do anything since asking you to help me with those boxes that uh, that I was carrying that you've ever said I can't do that or I won't do that. Uh, you you give your heart and soul to this organization and I know as president, I certainly appreciated it. Yeah, thank you for that. I, I appreciate it as well. Thank you. And you're vice president again for another year, man. Because you know, we like asked service. you to do that too, and you're like, sure, why not? You know, being vice president is so much easier than being president. You know, um, they don't call me. The news doesn't call me except for recently. Yeah. Uh, you know, that was that was fun. I get to work and not be in the limelight. That's always good. I appreciate that. Well, and you know, and I'm glad you bring up that you were in the news recently because there's an issue, and I think it bugged. I think it bugged all of us uh, that that has come up, um, and that uh, Channel 13 did a news story on 178th District Court Judge Kelly Johnson yes. and, and making a point of saying that she's been on leave since the beginning of the month. And, you know, maybe that's a newsworthy topic, maybe it's not, but the way they spun it was so sordid. They, they turned it into like a National Enquirer story. Right. And they really took advantage of a lot of people in the way they interviewed them and the way they portrayed things. So yeah, that was one of them. Yeah, so tell us yeah. about your experience yeah. on that. So it was, it was interesting, you know, you, you, I went to her court for a case and then I walked out and there was just a lady, you know, regular lady with a camera. I was like, hey, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'm not afraid of cameras. Um, and she's like, what do you think about Kelly Johnson? I was like, I like her. And so the interview was like, I like her as a judge. Hey, you know where she's at? I'm like, why would I know where she's at? Like, I, I'm in her court, I'm a lawyer, I'm not her friend. I have no idea where she's at. You know she's been gone? All right, well, good for her. Maybe she's on vacation. Who needs, we all need vacations. I take vacations, right? It's like, who, who, we all need vacations. Well, I mean, we don't know where she's at. Okay. And, and my response was like, okay, should you? Yeah, like, that's the whole thing. Judges, like, whereabouts, a lot of times are kind of protected. Well, also, more importantly than that, she is a person. Yeah. Right. Like, if you need a vacation or take time off, so be it. Right. You don't need, just because you're a News reporters official, in the hall. Everybody, like, like knocking on your doorstep. And so I was like, yeah, I mean, if she wants to take a vacation, so be it. And when I go on vacation, and I actually said this, when I go on vacation, I don't tell judges where I'm going. I don't knock yeah. on 22 courts and say, hey, listen, I'll be on vacation next week. I'm going to this country. I just go. Right, my boss knows, my employer knows, but certainly the, the 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 elected officials, I'm not telling them where I go. It's not their business, and I don't expect for them to tell no. me that. And so the, the 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 conversation ended with her saying, "Hey, do you care if there is a visiting judge on the bench?" Right, and for the most part, I don't care when it's pretrial, mm -hmm. when it's like bond or reset. Sure, I'm there to get discovery, that kind of stuff. I I don't care, but I mean, I do care when it's trial. Mm -hmm. I do care when I'm set when I'm going to trial who I voted for is there. But if who I voted for can't be there, I'm not some cohorted person to be like, wherever you're going, it's less important than me being in trial right now. Right. Um, and so I, I I really thought that uh, I really wish they'd aired more of my interview because the bulk of it was me saying, if she doesn't have to be here, that's fine. Right. I hope she's okay. Yeah. Right? And and the, okay. and the thing is is that the thing that really upset me when I watched it was they acted like a judge 
missing work was such an abnormal thing is if they, they bring in some ridiculous right. expert who, who's like some political science expert. And I don't know who gave him the expert title, but he clearly doesn't understand how the courthouse works. And the thing that really, really made me mad, and I've actually seen Channel 13. This was Channel 13. It was Jump Jessica Willie. And, um, and they go and they like the doors were locked. Most courthouse doors are locked in the afternoon unless they're in trial. And I've seen them do that before, and they make the absolute implication that because the judge is not there, there was no court today. Right. And there hasn't been since the beginning of May, which is just 100% untrue. Which, to actually add to it, the day in which that interview was recorded, her court was in trial. Right. Right. They, they were actually in trial that day. <laughs> you know, the, the Rice University professor, Mark Jones, who, by the way, when I looked up his Rice University page, he's an expert in Latin American politics. Um, he's got a fellowship at the Baker Institute. But his quote is, we already know our courts in Harris County are severely overburdened. And so any missing judge means cases effectively stop in her court. Which is just you don't not come to the courthouse, do you, Mark Jones? Yeah, yeah. Because the same article also mentions that Judge Jim Wallace presided over a trial last week in the 178th District Court, and there are dockets every single day in the 178th District Court. I didn't even know that Judge Johnson wasn't there because the court's open and operating, and she's making sure that that happens. So it is like it's absurd. Do an article, do an article about the judges who show up every day but don't actually try cases. There are suddenly their trial dockets are when they're not there, and visiting judges who the taxpayers are having to pay extra time, extra for, they're the ones who are coming in and trying cases. Why we have emergency relief dockets when there are like six trials happening in the trial courts per year? Why do we need emergency relief dockets? Do articles on that, not well, this. And I think the general public forgets that we, whether it's the judiciary or the attorneys, are actually people. Yeah. Right? right. So the same things that happen in their lives that like throw you off, like you have a sick family member or you yourself are sick and you're being like evaluated or diagnosed with cancer or something big, it affects us too. Mm -hmm. sure. And it's best in the interest of justice that we not show up if we're not in a position to be able to do our jobs. That day. Right. That well, day. Yeah. And, you know, and the thing is, is also is that, you know, as public officials, they're allowed to do things like, I don't know, have a baby. Right. Uh, they're going to be out for minimum of six to eight weeks on, on that. Are we saying that they're not allowed to do that? But the whole idea that, that the court just stopped was such irresponsible journalism because yeah. it was just 100 percent not true. Right. right. And I've known I met Jessica Willie. Back when I was a prosecutor and I was trying, uh, I was sitting second chair with Kelly Siegler on the Susan Wright case. So that was like 2003, 2004. She's been doing this for 20 years. She knows better than that. She knows how that court system works. That is her beat. And to do this, and where it really got upsetting is that for some reason, unbeknownst to me, I don't know how this happened, the Daily Mirror in London picked up this story. Mm -hmm. And they took it a step for, uh, further. They published a picture of Judge Johnson and her children and showed their faces. Oh my God. And it was like the lead story on the Daily Mail's website. My sister, who met Kelly, you know, 20 years ago at my second bachelorette bachelor party uh, and bachelor she like rat. like my sister was worried well it, he was a long story. Yeah, it was 2024 everybody it, it, it was a joint it was a long time ago uh, but but you were a but, bachelorette but you were a bachelorette that's what you just said she was at the bachelorette party the bachelor party the bachelorette party all met up at the same bar and, and went dancing hey man we're not judging don't be sad hey you, bro we're not judging you two were probably yeah, in third said the grade bachelorette at the time. bachelor party yes i, I saw right. a slash right. sash anyway we digress but the point being is it's my sister my sister mm. saw it on on yeah. the daily mirror daily mail and like calls like what happened to her because the way they spun it made it sound like she'd been kidnapped it, like they really, they acted like it was some huge mystery, like she's been involved in all these high profile cases and now she's missing. And it's like, what is wrong with you people? Yeah. And and I, I, it blows my mind because I've always thought highly of Jessica Willie. I've always thought highly of Channel 13 that, that this happened because it's just absolutely, it's false and it's just so misleading and, and so inflammatory. It's also wrong. 
Like you haven't right. really done any research. Right. I, I, I do feel like this is a, this is in response to what happened uh, from March 2020 to March to March 2022 in the 338th, where where the docket effectively did stop for like yeah. a year and a half, two years. And so it feels like they are trying to get proactive on this and broadcast it, be the first person to announce, hey, we knew it first. When I, 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 I don't want to say it's irresponsible, but I do want to say like it, it seemed a little rush. I'll say it's, right? irresponsible. it's irresponsible. I thought it was very irresponsible. It, it seemed a little rush. And, and you I know, and the, and the fact better. is too is it's also so it's so um, hypocritical because I mean, if you all were there back in the day with with Judge McSpadden, God rest his soul. I mean, it was toss a coin whether or not he took the bench any any day. I mean, he and Frank Price basically yeah. shared that bench mm -hmm. right. and because he took so much time off. And whether it was illness or whether it was personal reasons, I don't know, because nobody got in his business. Nobody right. asked, why did why is Judge McSpadden never here? But he was gone a lot. You know, I've seen him do hit pieces on other judges like that came in late, like Mike Wilkinson, I know, was a target because he would show up late. So at least there, you know, I mean, I was in his court at that time. That was awkward. Um, but, you know, but this this is ju just kind of blows my mind, especially when we have so many other judges, as you just alluded to, in the 338th right. that, that are doing much more newsworthy things that the press would, you would think, would be more concerned about than, than whether or not someone is, is taken off for three weeks. And whether or not it's even our responsibility to know. All right. I mean, I don't, I've, to this day, have no idea of where Judge Johnson is. And honestly, I, I don't care. If she can't be here, so be it. Yeah. Right? If she can't be here, it is what it is. Right? She is a human, like Jackie said, and life befalls humans like it does every person else. And just because she's an elected official, she doesn't owe me any more duty to ignore life. To be, to be in court. Mm -hmm. So if she can't be here, then so be it. Uh, her court is running. The day I was interviewed, they were in trial. Like I walked in there and like, okay, they're trying a case right now. I set a case for trial today in that court today. Like it's moving, right? right? And so if she can't be there, so be it. I, 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 I did not like the, the tenor of it. And I, I do want to make sure that at least if she's hearing that she knows, I hope she's okay. Yeah, no idea what's going do. on with her. We all I, I hope she's okay. And I hope everything well, works out. Better man. We have no reason, reasonable doubt whatever. as a news outlet or whatever we are, has no reason to believe she's otherwise. In fact, all the articles that I read about this, there was not one quote from an attorney who practices in there or a supposed well, defendant or a, a complainant who's like, justice is being delayed. It, well, the other thing that I thought that was really chicken of it was that they quote an unnamed source who basically insults her mental health. And they right. don't and they don't they don't say who it I is. It. And and it it's is. like, yeah. And that and, is, and basically is. says, Oh, she's manic and she's a danger to herself or other, but they're like, said somebody. And it's like, since when did the news start doing that? Right. At and, least be on camera like yeah, that. Yeah, like right. also she's a sloppy dresser, said nobody in particular. <laughs> I mean she's like a blonde. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> but I do I do She I, is female. I, I have text. <laughs> I am glad that you said that, Damon, because I, if Kelly Judge Kelly Johnson, who I've known, I literally met her the day I started the DA's office. She and I came in about on the 40, same 50 day. years ago. Seems like 25, but uh, you know, yeah. don't insult yeah. Kelly. But yeah, don't insult Kelly. Kelly she, Siegler or Johnson? Because they're both Johnson. Uh, well, Johnson. Well, no, Ke what's funny is is Kelly is much older than me. She's born in March. I was born in October of 72. About but Johnson? Uh, yeah, and uh, she'll, she'll like that. Yes, and her social security number. <laughs> uh, but but no, but I, I do hope that it, that if Kelly's watching this or ever sees this, that she knows how much the court house is enraged over that story yeah. and how much on, on both sides of the defense and the prosecution, your, your peers, the people that are in there, um, we all have your back in supporting you on this really unfortunate hit piece that was done. And, and it's just, it was, un, it was super unprofessional. And if you're looking at the comments, you'll see a lot you're of blowing up on there. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people yeah. that have a lot of things to say. Juan Aguirre. Yeah, he's right. And he approach Judge Wallace and get things done when, you know, absolutely. And it, it was just wrong. And, you know, and also the, uh, the other attorney interviewed was Bayoji, And he said that he felt that those questions were misleading to him, that he was, that, right. that were posed to him and, and taken out of context. And, and, it, and it happens. And it's a, it's a shame that it happened here. Yeah. Where do it you does. think this, who gave them this idea? So that was my question. This Who's happened. This? So we, we were, I was interviewed the last unnamed week source. or two weeks ago. Yeah. Who, 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 who 
if she's been gone since mid-May, let's just, or early May, May 1st. let's just say, let's just adopt May 1st as the date. And I know for sure, I was interviewed last week in like May 16th, May 17th. That's only two weeks. Yeah, it's who, not that long. Who, who, it's not that long, right? Who, who is saying, who is who, who brought them to the attention there that, that, that this is now an issue? Because certainly somebody taking a week or a two-week vacation wouldn't be a problem. Right. Right, it would just be like, okay, they're on vacation. Um, and I'm really curious, this started from someplace. I, I don't know who this reporter was. You have her name, and that's great. I have a hard time believing that she just woke up one day and was like, you know, let no. me go see which judge exactly. is in court and monitor. But, and I'm really wondering who started this. But you, how would you have gotten to the 19th floor? You, there's so many other floors that you would have gotten to him and like, where's the judge in this courtroom? Like, Tell me about it. Well, it, yeah. It, well, and the other thing is, is that you're talking about the 19th floor, one that is synonymous with in our in our circles as being the <laughs> with being the worst floor on the courthouse. But if there's one person that is like not the worst judge <laughs> in the courthouse, it might it's Kelly. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and so it's like, wow. So out of all the people we could make note of, we're going to be the one that didn't come to court for two weeks. <laughs> right. Uh, it's like our. Uh, all right, uh, that sounds good. Uh, in the meantime, we have all kinds of other things going on with some other judges there, and and. Um, but even assuming that there was an actual problem, like yeah. she was ill or something like that. How much of it's public? Does the but public it, deserve to know? The public doesn't deserve to know that, right? right? Mm -hmm. Like we have HIPAA laws for a reason, so the public doesn't doesn't deserve to know that. But on top of that for two weeks of her trying to figure out what's going on with whatever is actually wrong, we're gonna like slam her? Yeah, we're gonna like, assume yes. the worst. I mean, BS. it's not, that's not fair. No, wait till. And I think as defense attorneys, we wanna be fair. Because as humans, we should wanna be fair. Right. Well, I mean, I can't speak for prosecutors, but you were one once. I you was. Were terrible. I was. With Kelly and Kelly. And we even tried a case against each other. Freeze company. I forgot about that. How could you forget? No, but you know, I don't know. The whole thing is is incredibly frustrating when there's so so many other substantive issues that we do have with judges mm -hmm. on that. And you know, and 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 the public, the public, in my opinion, has a limited right to know certain things. I mean, I think, and I'm not trying to to burn anybody. I think this was all highly publicized when Judge Kevin Fine had some issues and ultimately left the bench. And I think that that all hit the news and and I think that that to some degree that was relevant because I think that what he was doing was was affecting his actions to some degree in court um, so I think there is a limited uh, I don't know he was kind of uh, there's conspiracy theory about that as well he was kind of forced out well I I was kind of boots on the ground a little bit close to that you're the one that forced him out no 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 I, I, I actually think very I think very highly of Kevin Fine and I liked him a lot I still do I think he's very I still think he's one of the most intellectually smart lawyers I've ever met in my life um, and uh, you know but but we talk about like the president you know the president is sick you know, not of HCCLA, but the United States. But uh, you know, they have a duty to let Thank you for people that know. But um, but it's they cool. don't. I'm, I, I, why would you direct that towards me? I'm not the president. You'll be. You're the one that made the clarification. I was talking about Venus. I haven't seen him in like two yeah, weeks. Yeah. Where is he? A story on that. I do have a laundry list of allegations. You I haven't seen made. Venus in two weeks. The defender, needs to, the yeah. defender needs to run an article how, on where is the president. I really know how to poke the bear on when it comes to Venus. Oh well, that's not easy. I mean, it's oh not, no, it's I mean, very easy. I mean, it's not difficult. I show up, it's easy. Yeah, well he, you know, I mean, he says he's been working <laughs> on a project. What's the matter, Damon? <laughs> he, you know, and he ran out of the crayon that he wanted to finish, so. You know, in Joe's defense, he was in trial. Yeah. As a fellow trial attorney, I know what it's like, so yeah. maybe he was busy. Yeah. You actually try cases? No, I try to run from them. <laughs> That's what I hear about. This body was made for running. I see that uh, Jimmy Ardwan is watching, and Jimmy. I know, and I know why right. because I saw him in court this morning and told him we'd finally taken his name off the intro, and, <laughs> and so here's all of a sudden he's tuning in like what the the intro you know, was earlier. Yeah, I know that? he's late. I, mean, I yeah. guess he'll be watching the rerun. He was on for like yeah. ten years though. So he's Jimmy probably changed. mad you took him off the intro. I, I told him, you know, you've only been gone for what three, four years, and and we finally took your name off. It's it's just been and so years. and then he tunes in. So you should just put my name on there. Yeah. And uh, I don't, don't know. Don't require my present. Shannon Davis just wrote, "Damn, Jackie, I don't know what in particular he's saying." That there's a laundry list of things that he could be responding. <laughs> Probably the whole conversation. Uh, you never know. 
So let's talk about some other judges, uh, you know, since we're having a judicial, uh, All right, let's do it. a judicial round table. So there's been some interesting stuff going on, uh, with Ram judge Ramona Franklin. Oh, good. We're talking about this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so Damon covered his eyes. And, and so, and, and so. Shortly after, we all know that Ramona Franklin lost her primary to Allison Mathis. Did she? She did. And so uh, I should be nice to Allison. You should be nice to Allison, who's watching and judging. I can't. Outlessly, I can't so. do it. Uh, <laughs> Not even if you make the bench. I'm still. I still can't do it. So, so shortly after she loses her primary, all of a sudden, there are reports from multiple people that they are receiving phone calls from someone purporting to be part of the vetting committee for the United States federal government because she is who they are looking at replacing outgoing district court judge Vanessa, Vanessa Gilmore. Gilmore. And the collective reaction to that in the courthouse is, say what, what? Are you kidding? <laughs> because I you were do gonna they say WTF? Well, this is a but, family you know. friendly show. Well, uh, that's why I said until, WTF. Until, until we have, you know, last minute guest stars and we don't know what they're gonna <laughs> say. But, uh, but, but, you know, Ramona Franklin is not someone that is in, held in high esteem in the defense bar because of a lot of things she pulled during the pandemic, not coming in closing her courtroom, having, we had to have a whole thing with the HCCLA strike force where she was prohibiting Clay Conrad from coming into the courtroom to stand with his client. Which uh, I don't really blame her. I mean, she is the boss of that court and I don't know if I want to see Clay Conrad either. <laughs> Fair. Fairest point. So boss is boss. I mean, think yeah. about that approach. Maybe oh she was going, okay. I mean, maybe, maybe it's like, if listen, I was Clay, exclude, you go sit your butt outside. If I was to exclude an attorney, it would be Clay. I mean, if you got like one free That's attorney to say no thanks, yeah. No, I would, I would, I, I certainly get that. But in all seriousness though, she was bringing defendants into the courtroom and and basically talking to them and you had an attorney said I need to be in there with them and she said no and we had to have a big we had to have a big to do strike force showed up middle of the pandemic got an adorable photo with all of our masks on in there and then she finally relents because the media is there right. to cover it and she finally relents but she moves him to the back like your case will be called last in a punitive move because this guy dares to have access to counsel, wants to have that. And then we've had a recurring situation that we've done. Um, Brent Mayer of Oliver and Mayer, uh, ha I think that he even brought up the point and I think he filed a grievance against her because of what she was doing where, she, where people were getting arrested, their bonds were being set, they were making their bonds and they were coming into court and she would just go, I don't think that bond's high enough, take him back into custody, I'm raising it. And it, the prosecutors weren't even asking for that. And so there, there was a big to do about that, but she has demonstrated a career path. The, well, don't stop there, yeah. the Court of Appeals allowed that, mm -hmm. but said she should stop doing it. Under Gomez. And, and she, she has continued doing it. Yeah. So she's definitely not been any friend to, to the accused rights no. during that time. And, and the presumptively innocent and, or the and, Constitution. You know, and the people that have disagreements and arguments with her, it's not personal, it's what she's doing to, to our clients and the presumption of innocence. So when all of a sudden we hear this new rumor that, that she's been tapped to become a federal judge, which number one, I don't think she has any federal experience whatsoever. Um, it's just one of those things that people are like, are you WTH? And, uh, right. and so I, uh, my comment at the time was like, do they not run a name through Google? Because right. I mean, this made, yeah, do. It, it, it made the, it made the Chronicle. I mean, this, I mean, these things the were when, when she wouldn't let Conrad in. Yeah. Okay. I thought she meant this. I know that federal no, no, no. bench. Oh, no, no, no. Well, it, ha it hasn't yet because they had to bump that story for where in the world is Kelly Johnson. Right, right. Uh, right. But what they did do, but so this rumor kind of rises and then it kind of falls. And then about two weeks ago, all of a sudden it picks up again. Mm -hmm. And we start hearing, oh, it's a done deal. She's gotten it. And it's like, oh, wow. So. I made a few phone calls, talked to a couple of people. There's like, apparently there's she's, uh, announcements at church. Yeah, apparently like her even her church was, was like, it's a done deal. And, 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 um, and it's like. You know, church that, should be sacred. 
Well, if I go in front of my church and I say, well, y'all pray that I get this position, it shouldn't hit the news and it shouldn't go beyond the church. Well, you being in church, first of all, is something right. that should be Your eyes are stinging. Yeah. Like, and you sing a prayer. Uh, so well, that's fair, but I, that I heard her, that they, that her and her husband went in and apparently announced. My, well, okay, my, so. It, my singing it, makes it people truth? cry. Uh, boy, I can't cuss, but. <laughs> 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 All right, so I don't have really a like, dog in the fight of federal court versus state court yeah. because I work in state court mostly. Sure, same. And so, like, dealing with federal courts. But what I will say is a lot of what I have, I'm hearing from multiple people is I know a person who said this. I know somebody right. who said that. Okay. And it doesn't really seem like, like, so you made a point, Justin, talk about uh, to go in front of your church with your husband and make that announcement. Apparently, she didn't do that. Okay. Apparently, she, her and her husband, to my knowledge, have not actually done anything to say we are doing this. Okay. It's more like somebody said they said. Somebody said this. It's, it's a lot of that. But one thing I have learned in working in the Harris County Criminal Courthouse is typically when people say things like that or when, when, when a lot of enough rumors spread, they tend to be true. Yeah, you know, smoke there's fire there, some degree. tend to be right. some kind of truth to it. Maybe not total truth, but some sort of truth to it. Um, I don't know how much truth there is to this one. It, well, it just, it seems I, weird. I cut, I do I cut I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I cut Lewis off before he was going to Marat. Yeah. Well, no, what I was going to say is, is that I know, I've heard from several judges that they themselves got phone calls. Joe Venus told us that he received a phone call from a blocked number. He did. Uh, one of the people, uh, one of the people said that they were calling for the Senate majority leader, who is Mitch McConnell, but they did not say it was Mitch McConnell. Um, <laughs> But I also talked to somebody that I know that, um, that that's very familiar with the appointment process, and they were just like, if the if the White House has nominated you for something, you were sworn like blood oath to secrecy until it is announced. So any type of announcement at church, that is not going to happen because they're going to be they'll pull that they'll pull your nomination for stuff like mm, that. Right. And and so that. When when somebody when the person that I spoke to and I'm not going to identify who that person was, but when that person said we think that this is all generated with no legitimacy, maybe it's coming from her and her husband, maybe it's coming from from somebody who just has great aspirations for him. We don't know that for sure, but it's definitely not legitimate. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> why? But it begs more questions. Well, it, it, it does it, certainly beg the question really of begs. who and it why. It also begs the, the biggest question of all, like, why? Why? Right. Like, and, and, and listen, say what you want to say about 338th and Judge Franklin. I would love to go out and have lunch with her. She's actually, I think she's a nice person. I actually do like talking Very to sweet. her. Very sweet. Very sweet. Like, you know, so I actually, actually do enjoy talking with her. And her court staff is real pleasant. Like, we, you know, if I was a private practice, I would bring them lunch every day. Uh, but I don't you know can do that. why you not more than a lot of private practice attorneys. I, 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 338, y'all heard it. Yeah. Damon wants yeah. to bring you lunch. Uh, I can't yes. afford it. But the thing is, though, he's been, I, eating, I have he's no been eating food on a sliding <laughs> scale. That's right. Yeah. Like, where are you buying food? You can afford food for the 12 <laughs> people. But, but I, I, I do wonder, like, who, who benefits from this? Uh, almost, so, it, almost every time in life when somebody tells a lie, somebody is benefiting from that lie and I, I don't know why it's so it's Ooh, so the implication the I, the idea is that let me see if I got this right is that the speculation is that she possibly she and her husband are calling around pretending to be people with the federal government pretending to be this vetting committee and asking people what they think so that, maybe a why rumors, could yeah. be like if you really want to find out what like the Somebody incoming thinks. president of HCCLA thinks or your colleagues yeah. think about you it could be, you know, I mean, but then to what end if weird. you're on your way out because of office? What are you going to do? Like, I don't you know. Find out Murray doesn't like you and then what? Well, Murray posts everything on the blog. He knows if right. he know if he likes you so, or not. So Murray but, hurts, hates my guts. Okay, so what? Yes, like, exactly. I don't know. What, how, and that's why the, the one thing I can say. About Murray's her, in love with me and it hasn't caused him to divorce his wife yet. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. Not this one. But. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> but I, I don't know what, what she would have to gain from it. And, and that's legit truth from the start. What anyone would gain if, if, from if it's it. It's false. The why only, is anybody spreading that? The, the, the two theories that I, that I have come up with, and these are just wild speculation, are that number one, trying to save face, a little bit of sour grapes type thing after losing her 
primary so decisively like, oh yeah, well, I'm on my way to bigger and better things. I'll be in federal court if you need me, suckers. You know. But this is more embarrassing than it that. It is once it once it comes once it comes down to especially being if you, exposed. Especially if you're exposed, yeah. right? Like, but this is far more embarrassing. But we've seen. But so but why go that extra route? So that was it. the first thing. What's the second thing? The other thing that I thought is a possibility is trying to actually generate interest into into making it happen. Wag the dog. Right. Yeah. Like, I was thinking like the same you thing. know, like maybe we've talked about it. Talk to like being able to go to like say. Say you've got an empty bench because I mean the reality is is that we see these federal benches. Black people sit don't sit around. Black people don't know. Well, hang on. Yeah. Just we don't just, wag the dog. I agree with well, that. Well, well, hang on one second. But like it, these benches are not big nationwide news. Okay, they're big to us locally. But if someone were to say, hey, look, you know, we've talked to a lot of the judges, we've talked to a lot of the leaders in HCCLA and stuff like that, there's a lot of positivity about this idea of Ramona Franklin, if that had been the reception. If that had been the reception that everyone would be like, man, you'd make a great federal judge, and then taking it maybe to a congressperson mm -hmm. and saying, hey, we understand that this federal judge is about to leave, you should really talk up. Judge Ramona Franklin, she's leaving the bench. People love her. You know, may, that's the only thing I could come up with. And this is speculation. Oh, yeah. I mean, and, I and mean, your speculation is, is, is very speculative. I like yes, it. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. In the history There's of. There's a reason we don't allow it in trial. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Absolutely. In the no, of federal none court of this. We can't prove any of this. This is all just gossip. And, it's, it's, and, it's like and, gossip, like hands. In the history of federal court appointments, no. Criminal court judges don't get it. Now, I will say, Damon, when our discussions privately on this, you said you had heard that she had been nominated by John Cornyn and approved by no, Abbott. I, somebody so, told me uh, that. Yeah, I heard it also. And you were like, no, that's how it went down. Bro, you, listen, that was your hill to die listen, on in a private conversation. Listen, so. in a private conversation, I was told Cornyn nominated her. Uh, Cruz approved it, and Abbott gave his blessing. And that's, that's not how that that's works. What, I don't that's know. So well, can, I, can I tomorrow is, call... Cruz's office, Abbott's office, and Cornyn's office and say, my name's Justin Harris. I've With been the part FBI. of this show called yeah. Reasonable Doubt, and we just want to confirm whether or not your office has nominated Ramona Franklin for a federal bench. So can I, I do that tomorrow? Yes, yeah. you can call Yes, yes, yes absolutely. I'll tell you absolutely. And I'll let y'all know in two weeks but they will lie what, to you. what they say. Because what, 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 is the, what is the phrase about politics and bedfellows? All right, politics make strange bedfellows. You can, people lie all the time. And politicians, Fair. if you think politicians tell you the truth, I guess I'm laying the floor you might be interested in. All right. Said so the guy that believed Corn and nominator, but. Well, okay. but. And, and, uh, listen, uh, I, I can't see, believe. Okay, listen, I, I think the wag the dog thing might be something to That it. wild things happen in this world. She is black. And she can. What, a, okay. We uh, can all agree on that. Okay, yes. <laughs> Except, if, unless you looked at all of her rulings. If you looked at her rulings, then you'd be like. <laughs> What's wrong with this old white guy? Why is he throwing all these young black men in jail? You know what? Um, okay. But, so let's go there. Let's go there. Fine, let's go there. What if someone she's starts really, making a phone call? Like, hey, when it comes to bonds, when she comes to bonds, no. She's, she's definitely like right. Very distant, draconian. right? Yeah. yeah. But when it comes to trial, she's fair. I agree. She's fair. Very yeah. fair. If you try a case in her court, yeah. you will get a fair trial. She will follow the law. You may have to bring her the law and say, hey, wait, judge, have you considered this case or that or this statute? But when it comes to the law, she wants to give you a fair trial. So, yes, we don't necessarily agree on what the bond should be set at. Right. But and you're not, not only are you bringing the law to her, but you're having to bring your client's clothes every single also, day for that Murray, trial because she's locking them up for that. In private but, conversations, I have said that also. What? I said that bonds, no. not no up, but she would give you a fair trial. So you're getting ready for your federal practice in I front of her. I don't think she's going to be a federal judge. <laughs> yeah, and listen, I told you, I have no dog in this fight. All right, I'm a, I, I am a squarely state court, Harris County, 22 courts, misdemeanors. Because like, he has no current plans courts. to leave the, yeah. Yeah, the PDL. 16 yeah. misdemeanors. He has no current plans don't. to leave. 16, I don't do misdemeanors, bro, I'm sorry. But there's 26 felony courts now. 26, whatever. Yeah, right? I am a Harris County state court junkie. I love that building. I do too. I mean, it's my comfort zone. You know, I've been on the defense side of things for 16 years. I've yet to do a federal case. And I will. I mean, it's my comfort zone. You know, I've been on the defense side of things for 16 years. I've yet to do a federal case. And and we really thought that you were definitely a career prosecutor. Well, no. It literally took Pat Likas for you not to be. It did. And speaking of other After she fired you twice. 
<laughs> on other controversial things, we're doing a portrait on Bailey for house. her. Are you going to speak on her behalf? I, I would love to. Uh, was, it, was it two I or three times? Did she fire you twice or three times? It was twice. twice. But it was it, twice? And, and really, it was just once. And it wasn't hers, Ken Magidson. It's it, That story got a little better with age. But uh, I'm, ha I'm happy to explain it, but I've done so at nauseam. Explain but it at I, a speech at her unveiling. But you make so. these, but if you do this, if you, sorry, back to the Ramona Franklin thing, if she does this <laughs> great thing this about that, like, campaign, it. right? <laughs> if, she, if she does a whisper campaign, when the real phone calls start coming to the nominees, aren't they going to say, but I thought Ramona had this. And then yeah. they're going to be like, wait, who's Ramona? Right. And then, I mean, that there could be some. Well, I think that, that could be a way to make yourself a federal judge. I think that a more interesting I think topic is, is someone impersonating a federal agent. Yeah. I don't you know. know. I, could, think, I don't like, think if, it's that easy. If, if, it was under Trump. If an FBI to become person. a federal judge under Trump, it wasn't that hard. Oh, apparently. Burn one cross but it's and you Trump. Can a judge. Trump has you know, different standards than but everybody else in the whole entire nation. Below the White House, the, off, the, the Oval Office, like, I don't know how much there's changeover in the Are you saying that Joseph Biden is the same as Donald Trump? No, I'm saying the bureaucrats between the, them and us could be. I don't know. I don't know who shifts out between administrations. I don't know who shifts in. But I'm just saying, I don't think Biden knows, I don't think Trump knew the people who he put in. I don't think the yeah, presidents know. They, they rely on people oh, yeah. to bring them people. I agree with that. And yeah. I agree with that. And no, I, I, I don't 100%. know if those people change out. Well, and like, and look, at the, and look at how long they leave uh, vacancies, you know. Yeah. Um, I happen to just through a weird set of circumstances know Ryan Patrick, who I worked with at the DA's office, who was the, the U.S. US attorney. attorney, and then Al Hamdani, who's the current U.S. attorney, and he and I went to law school together. The gap between Ryan stepping down at the, at the start of the Biden administration before Al took over was long. It was a long, it was, it was, I don't know if it was a year, but it was many months. And these aren't priority position fills right. to, to in, in these jurisdictions, and you'd think it would be. I mean, Houston's a huge hot spot and hub for a lot of federal activity, especially being so close to the border. The border right. And even the border. with a position as, as important as U.S. Attorney, it was it stood still for a long time. Why didn't ABC and the Independent run a right. whole story on that? Like, oh, on this, was it like 22 days right. gone? Right. Okay. I will say that on paper, if you're looking at Ramona Franklin, you might think that she's, you know, really more of a Republican. Sure, Kim Ogg certainly loved the way that she was revoking right. people's bond without her even having to ask. Mm -hmm. And anytime you got a judge doing that, Correct. you got a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I, I tried a case one time where a judge made my jaw drop by saying, I don't know why I keep having to object on behalf of the state. And I was like, wow. Because it's offensive. I don't offensive. know why you are either. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's offensive for people to show. It's since passed. If the so. point. Okay, so then her legacy is not hurt by her you telling her name. It was her name, McGee. Okay. Oh. If the point is for people to show up, and these people show up, and then you revoke their bond, then you have literally failed as a judge. Oh my God, don't even get me started on that. Like showing up on your first court date, or, or not even making bond, you're still, you're still in the jail before the, when they revoke it. What is, what is there's two, per, two prongs to bond, right? Secure the defendant's presence in court when it's required and protect the community. Mm -hmm. If they haven't even been released from the jail yet, because just the time hasn't happened, how can you revoke it saying that they're, they haven't the missed a court date. They haven't had a chance to show that the bond wasn't sufficient to protect the community. I mean, it's just well, mind blowing. And, and you know, and that brings Total up the other ignoring, ignoring the law. Just the Constitution's right there. And to add to your other point, that if you're if the Biden administration was to pick someone, I can't imagine a Democrat more out of alignment with the the Biden administration's ideals towards right. the criminal justice system right. than Ramona Franklin. Right. Right. I, I agree with that. And I think in what we've known in this business, especially as a state court person, when they pick federal judges, they're always some civil law firm, you know, yeah. Baker Botts, V&E. It's some big law firm. And so certainly if the idea was that the Republican Party wanted optics to have a black woman, there are plenty of black women sure. at large civil law firms. I'm a black so, woman. But you're not at a large law firm. I agree with that as well. Uh, I am at a large law firm. Large office, civil law very law large. Firm. Civil. Oh, okay. who, who they can tap if they wanted to. I actually know at least two federal, I know, I know one federal AUSA and two federal uh, private uh, 
uh, federal public defenders who they could tap. There's some amazing candidates. There, there are some amazing. But, you know, that being said, this whole thing has been an exercise in, like, I love this. I, that's why I love Harris County. Well, you know, what the hell's going on here? The, the, I like, do know no one. one. I, I do know one in I, case I they're interested. This. So y'all can contact me, and I'd be I happy to discuss love my. Jackie well, you know, federal bench. It would be awesome. Oh, they definitely well, wouldn't choose me. Uh, sure, <laughs> but I know someone sure, they might choose. They might. Well, you know. You know, they, I mean, they could pick Genesis Draper. She'd be amazing. Oh, my God. And she was a federal PD. Right. Yes, exactly. Like, you want That's to talk true. about, I mean. No, she can't go. No, no we no, would, no. yeah, we would all You know hate, what? Hate we would let her, her go for uh, that. We would hate to lose her, but when people are, like, moving on to better things. Federal back. Go no, with God. I mean, you want to talk about someone who's infinitely more qualified than Ramona. Sure, yeah. You know, but you know the Nothing one thing would get done in the county courts. Like sorry, the, the other fifteen see, judges. Though, I'm sorry. This did just occur to me though that the whole thing about Corn and nominating her and Ted Cruz. I just had this vision of them both like beating drunk or high, going, "You know, it'd be hilarious." <laughs> 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 let's do it, no, let's do it. Donna <laughs> Ramona Franklin, man. You know, she you remember Democrat, those twenty-two would black be... female judges? Yes. That hate it when they got yeah, yeah, let's make them let's federal them. judges <laughs> and nominate yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Make Man. it Colin Allred's po problem or fault. <laughs> I <laughs> take him in the. I mean, yeah. it's just it. But it was so funny to it like when so someone weird. said that this is all not real. It went, oh, that makes sense. The, yeah. And then you feel really stupid for believing yeah. it in the first place. Like I said, we only believed it, and I still, I like a lot of you. I still kind of do, uh, because okay. because things are crazy in the CJ. I'm not gonna be surprised like, if it's yeah. true. You're not surprised. Like things things happen, and you're like, what the. Where did this come from? Like, the, the way Harris County operates, I fucking love it because, like, I, I said, I really love it. Yeah. It's because it is, it, it, you never know what to expect. You don't know what's going to happen. And things that we thought were just, something happened recently, and I'm not going to talk about it uh, literally, that was posted, which I thought was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. And it turns out it may not have been correct. Uh, I'm not oh, going to talk about it. Yeah, I know. But, like, it, it, it didn't surprise me to hear it. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. This is Harris County. It just didn't surprise me to hear this. Um, and that's why I like this county more than any county I practice in or federal. It's, so it's an adventure I think every day. it could happen. Like, yeah. I, I would not be surprised at this point either way. So much press has been generated. Even, honestly, if the goal, like you said, was to generate press or whatever, even us talking about it now, we've never talked about a person potentially becoming a federal court judge until this episode. Yeah, well, and I, I think that a lot of people don't. Other than Judge Hughes. A lot of people that if they're not involved in our business don't realize that, that it literally is two different streets, federal and state. And, yeah. and you yeah. know, I, I don't know, do you do any fed work? I've been in that building in a while. So I've never done any, you guys ever done any? Jackie, well, you ever done any? I, I, I yeah. tried as, a case as with a, well, unit as a I tried one chair. federal case. Yeah, okay. It was boring as hell. But I well, was second chair and Eric was, Eric Davis was first chair. Well, my joke has always been that, you know, 90% of my success rate, which is about 25%, um, is based <laughs> is based on like BSing and like, you know, and, and well, no, but I mean like just being casual and talking about that stuff. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, that, and, and in federal court, that they shut that, that down, man. That, that, that's like, that'd be like kryptonite. Like, oh, oh man, yeah. you expect me to know the law, ah, I'm out, you know. Uh, I yeah. mean, it would be, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's not our arena, it, it, it's for us. We, I, I would say that we are more show people, showmen show women, you know, and, and that we like, show us, Jackie. Yeah, I mean, we like our draw, <laughs> what do you like, want to see? like, 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 our, I got you, Damon. like, hired two times, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but I mean, part of it is the dramatics that we, that we bring. We're like theater kids in there, you know, yeah. a lot of times to, to, and it works and it, and, and I don't think that that's something that's really embraced in federal court, yeah. but, and so it is interesting that they could, they could get there from here with a, a district court judge who just lost an election in her own primary. So I, I will say this though, just, and I guess we can finish on this one. I would have believed it more if Mike McSpadden, who you just mentioned, would have gotten it because he always wanted to be a federal court judge. And he was very well connected politically in the mm -hmm. Republican Party, even when there was a Republican controlled president, White House, government. And he, he ran his court that way and even he didn't get the nod. So I really have a hard time believing a criminal court judge in Harris County would ever get the nod for federal court. But I'm not surprised by it. Like, if, if it does happen, it just wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the, the 
the one exception that we saw was uh, right. going to federal was Ryan Patrick, yeah. but it wasn't a federal judgeship. It was no. the, for the U.S. attorney right. for that position, but he's yeah. a little bit differently situated. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm last name kind of helped it out. Like, yeah. you know, lieutenant governor, it and, just kind of helped out a bit. Right. He was good in trial, though. But I, I, I and Ryan's a friend of mine. I like trial. Ryan a lot. He was a great judge. He was a great prosecutor to deal with. He's he's still a, a great person to talk law and politics with. I, I enjoy him very much. I have a question for you, Murray. Do you have any defense attorney friends that you draw upon? Because all your stories seem to be about former prosecutor buddies. It's the I, reason why, because you know, he was on that I, career prosecutor I'm path. I'm curious. You know, no, I, you want to know why? why? I'll tell you exactly why. Because when I name drop, it's people that went on to bigger and better things. <laughs> when I talk about defense attorneys, we all stay We're defense still here. attorneys. We're We're still still because right you know here. why? We don't want to do anything else. We get here. I'll, I'll, like, I'll welcome that. You know, like, like I'm a defense attorney. I don't want to be a judge. No. no. I don't, no. don't want to go back to being a prosecutor. I am no. very happy in this arena, and How I don't want to don't go anywhere want to be a judge? Why would you want to be a referee when you get no. to be in the starting lineup of the football Max, team? Yeah. You know, I 100%. mean, 100%. It, I can't be neutral. Oh my goodness gracious! Come to court every day? No, no, no. And, I and, mean, and so, not be able to fight? I like to fight. And me sit too. there and be like, yeah. Yeah. Zuckerberg, okay. Like to fight. You know, when you're like I'd be a Renee McGee, I'd be like, I'm gonna have to make these objections for the defense. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm assuming in your in, in your roles at the PD's office. I would love that. That would be a on. welcome change. I have Because most time. of the time you have judges yeah. making rulings yeah. like, Move okay, along, they didn't Mr. do Harris, X, so I'm just like, gonna sue a sponte object for the right. state. That's the problem. Yep. Can so, we get judges to stop being the state? So here, here's what I was just talking talking about with this. It is so hard to sit still if you're a trial lawyer. Like, and you've supervised people and sat with younger lawyers, and how many times have you been on to be like, just give me the file, let me move, take over. Just move I'm on. ready to do it. Just, right, yes, Can you yes. imagine, like, how many times have you been on jury duty and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I have to sit here and shut up and just listen to this. Oh, never. Judges do that every day. I, I don't know how do they do it. No. I wouldn't stay awake. I'd be the sleeping Well, judge. Bill Harmon apparently, like, cigar shopped and looked yeah. at the sailboats. Oh, sure. Which, which I, people said that, and then one day I kind of, during trial, leaned over and looked at his other monitor, and I was like, son of a gun. He well, is. There were by some that judge, one, judge who just by got that in one. trouble for like texting all through trial. I'm like, show me a judge that doesn't do that. They I mean, that. That, like, I didn't know they couldn't because they all or do play it. solitaire. Like, you're not allowed <laughs> to. They're, they're playing judge solitaire. Got in trouble for uh, enlarging himself during trial. No. Wait, he did what? Was that a federal what? court judge? You he did what? That? Oh, the, yes. yes. No, no, no. I yes, missed it. I heard he did about what? He, he was yeah. enlarging himself during trial. How do you enlarge? How do you? <laughs> okay, we don't. We're not going to do. This is a family friendly show. We'll leave it at that. Eat a lot of food, Jackie. It starts after eight. Like I don't know if it's so. family. It was a re- it's cable <laughs> access. Listen, we may or may not have already heard enough bomb tonight. So. I, I need a more thorough yeah, explanation. It, we'll, we'll explain it after. That was the judge, wasn't it? I can't. Or Oklahoma. I mean, what it was. Same thing. Like not, a pump yeah. or something yeah. underneath the bench. Galveston is to Texas what Oklahoma is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't like Galveston. We have someone who just said my kids are watching. I hope you're proud of yourself, Jake. <laughs> I'm totally but, proud of myself. But uh, there was no response. I didn't get. A, I didn't well, get an answer. <laughs> I, I'm proud of Damon for not answering my about. question. How about that? I really no, but know. but go. But the, so the question was: Is why? Did, why I name drop prosecutors? Prosecutors. Most prosecutors want to go on to the other political things. They most right. The, the, with a rare exception, you will have career prosecutors that want to stay there until right. the day they die, and we all know who those are. But others, they want to either come to the defense side, which is great, especially if you're your own boss, or have a good boss. Um, which you know prosecutors have not had for the past eight years, or they want to be a judge, or they want to go, they want to translate it into running for rep or 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 right. something like that. And so, um, I have a lot of great friends. I, I name drop you all the time. My kids actually love you more than they love me. I love your kids. Uh, they're like, cause, that's just smart. Because like la- the last time I was on, they're like, is Damon on? I'm like, no, he's not on. No, we're not watching. We're watching. We don't. Yeah. We don't it's care. If that guy yeah. that flipped you off in the middle of Meteor is not on the show. We are not we, watching. We're not watching. So it was a good flipping off. Also, it was um, it's amazing. One of my best. Apparently, made a just came big out. impression. You know, oh, it's hilarious. So I don't know why our viewers care, uh, think that we care that kids are watching, because apparently, it's not as. What's much funny of a is the person who said that doesn't even have kids. <laughs> oh, okay. Who Bafa, said that? Buffalo, you don't have any kids. <laughs> Her kids are fine. <laughs> Wait, we know your kids. They're fine. They're good. They're good. They've seen worse. Yeah. 
So the reason my kids call him that is we were at Rusty Duncan three or four years ago, or I guess two or three years ago. Last year. And uh, no, it wasn't last, it wasn't but last year. Um, but so my my kid Luke, my oldest, comes in and his his girlfriend was visiting her grandparents in the San Antonio area. So we all go to meet here, and I'm sitting there with these people I've never met. Like I, I've met the girlfriend, I've, but I haven't met the grandparents before. I haven't met this girl's dad, who's a super nice guy. And we're all sitting down having a nice dinner, and all of a sudden Luke goes. Dad, why is that guy like flipping you off? And I look over and there's Damon giving me the double rods <laughs> in, in, the, in the middle. I'm like, oh, that's Damon. And, and all these people look over and they're like, what is happening so, here? Like, in translation, he's a colleague. Yeah. He's a colleague. What happened was we're Murray lawyers. was at a very boring dinner. Yeah. And they were talking about nothing. And I showed up and brought some liveliness to I believe it. So, that. I so, brought character and flair to it. So thank you, Murray. You were doing so like a welcome, boyfriend so girlfriend forward. dinner at Rusty Duncan. Like, yeah, ah, no, for, for, you yeah, brought you brought it right. At this time, yeah. his son was like well, a freshman at high school. He's got like a freshman at high well, school. Well, and, then, ah, and then but then the funny part is, you fast forward. We all go to a baseball game. Alex Bunnan had tickets, and a lot of us were all sitting together for the Yankees Astros. And as we're lining up, I, Luke looks at me. He's like. Isn't that that guy that was flipping you off in the middle of me here? <laughs> like, yeah, that's Damon. That's David. That's, that's how he's known that's, in the yeah. family. Yeah. And then you uh, dazzled him with your Batman knowledge. Batman. The the other show. So. I mean, you know, I know Damon that. is really good with kids. He really is. It's almost like his maturity level is insane. I'm a man of the people. That's why you yeah. have so many. You just they're friends. A man so, of the I have, children. I have people. a lot of kids because my stuff works. And that's why. Uh, <laughs> what is it? I mean, How many times have you tried to bring us back to talking is that, about is that? What, <laughs> is that where that came from? Like, <laughs> makes you larger? Okay. What did you say? Guys. It got guys. bigger? <laughs> Listen, I'm a very pale man. And I turn red again, really easily. He's black. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, we need to pre we need okay. to pregame with these two. We got uh, one yeah. more minute to right. keep try to keep it on a little bit on All the right. rails. Uh, yeah, so on a serious <laughs> note, on a serious note, in the one minute there is a runoff election going yep. on yes. right now. Yes. We can't Jamile. tell you who to vote for, but we can't tell you to go vote for Jamile. Uh, no, <laughs> vote for the best candidate. Do your research. Which is Jamile? Ask us who we would say um, privately. Uh, but so we're not going to talk about. Jamile? I think early voting. You know, I don't know. Jamile is running. Jamile is running against the Vivian King, who is Kim Og's uh, right hand woman. But Jamile is running. Jamile is running. So Jamile, Jamile Haynes. Yes. Jamile, the guy who's He's running for the forty. It's actually spelled a little differently than you would think. G, it's G E M A Y E L. Jamile Haynes. In front of my house, on a personal note, and yeah. I have already voted. Actually, we have we're thirty. A bow tie. We have thirty seconds left. Whatever you do, go vote. Early voting Please. ends either tomorrow or Saturday. I'm not sure, but voting day is Tuesday. Whatever you do, go vote. And thank you for tuning in. And we will see you in two weeks. Two times. Two times.